Hey everybody, it's your girl Simply Love and I am back. I am back, okay. Um, I just first of all just want to, you know, thank all of you who've been so nice to me uh during this time. Uh my brother's passing. I really appreciate each and every one of you, all of you that were scheduled for readings that <clears throat> I had to, you know, put on hold until uh, the, I got the, my situation together <clears throat> and myself as well. I really appreciate each and every one of you for your understanding and um, not canceling, but just go ahead and wait for me to, um, you know, to let all this sink in. Okay, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all your emails, all the mail that you've been sending me. Uh, for your condolences I really appreciate each and every one of you and I just look at it now <clears throat> that I have another spirit guide uh, with me now which is my brother so the readings are going to be more intense because you think I'm plain spoken uh, my brother was very direct and plain spoken too so it's going to just up the ante on these readings uh, as he is coming in to help me out to, you know, deliver the messages uh, from where he is, the spirit. Um, and I thank him. And I thank everyone, all my ancestors and, and things. I thank you all who stuck in there uh, with me as far as, you know, you subscribing and all that stuff. I really appreciate you guys. I see you're still looking. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your patience. So, um... What I'm back to do right now today, for today right now, I'm just now getting stuff together with audio and all that stuff. So I hope you guys can hear me okay. I hope I'm not shouting. Um, we're going to do <coughs> a catch up on these karmics because my brother did show me a lot of stuff that's going on, on uh, in the planetary world because they do go surface to the planets become stars you know stars and they can be and they can move about all they want to um show me some of this stuff in a dream like some of you uh regarding a karmic situation some of you and i want to say some of the men that were dealing with a karmic person that you were so-called in love with um but found out it all wasn't sweeter on the other side I'm picking up on a few people are going to go back to this karmic because they just, it's, it's spells, okay? That's what I'm hearing, spells. You get, you don't even really, some of you don't get it, even though we've been talking about this energy, go, you know, throughout, you know, you on YouTube with the readers, some of you just don't believe in it. You don't believe that people could be this devious and this underhanded to, to do things like this. We have to be aware and learn how to protect ourselves. And I got plenty of videos. If you go back and look how to protect yourself, go on the playlist. There's things, there's videos that you can play yourself. It's like, like you're not hurting anybody. You're just protecting yourself. That's what I believe in. You do voodoo is for protection. That's what our ancestors used it for. A long ago until it got infiltrated okay so I'm picking up an energy that somebody is very very greedy um, they looking at someone else like um, or this karmic this car well, a karmic that could be male or female okay so what I'm doing this intuitively just take it either way it go if it resonates, it resonates. If it don't, don't be, you know, looking at me or my ancestors. You need to look at your own ancestors and talk to them about it. Um, I'm just feeling like this karmic energy coming up here. They're they're kind of like going heavy now. They're they're going heavy. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm sorry, I had to get some more water. Sorry about that. Maybe I should have just paused the video. But nevertheless, um, I feel like there's like a karmic or a few of 
karmics or whether male female. I'm just picking that energy up of two people like teaming up to do something to someone else who is innocent in this situation. Now, what I like to tell you guys who are doing that, don't do it. Don't do it. Because the reason I'm saying don't do it is because you're mess. From what I'm hearing, the ancestors are saying that you're going to mess with the wrong person's ancestors because you know you don't know the history of these people's ancestors. You can't be that damn you know uh, insightful to know all of that. All you're you know all you're worried about is is uh, doing harm to another person. You don't even care where you go to get it. You're not informed about some things of what Spirit's telling me. As soon as you do this, it's coming right back to you. Because you you guys need to learn about the planets and the universe because that's what you're a part of. That's what you're operating. That's why you, sh you should know because you'll be able to like know what to expect before it, it, it comes. And you can like navigate. You can learn how to keep yourself centered knowing these things so we got we got um mercury and retrograde y'all know what that means people coming back around from the past and all that stuff talk about they change um we got what is it uranus or no saturn saturn's going direct that's these planets are off the chain jupiter going around here wrote um going backwards it's a lot of energies coming in because we're in, I told you, the great awakening right now. You guys have to believe this. And I know you all been going through some stuff, not understand, because I, I did several readings on people. And bless your hearts for calling in for your readings. You called in right on time. So you know what's up. You know the what's up. And I'm so proud of you guys who've done that. And <laughs> it was a lot of people. I had a lot of people, you know, and, you know, in between that when my brother passed. I had to put some behind, so that's why I'm just now coming back, you guys. Um, I ain't going nowhere. Ain't nobody sending me nowhere. I'm here, okay? I'm here. Just be a little patient with me. <clears throat> okay, yeah. I feel like you. there's like two people doing something. It's like... This it's like some karmic got some people out here so messed up in the head that they listen to what their e what their evil plot and plan is. Let me get this uh, out here so y'all don't be trying to fuck with you. Don't you fuck with me and my ancestors because you you don't know. I'm just telling you straight up. Uh, that's all. I'm just saying. Put that out there. Let you know right off before you think of any funny stuff. Because this is going to be pretty long reading. I'm picking up. That's what I'm hearing. It's going to be a little long, lengthy here. Because you people need to wake up. Some of y'all need to wake. Especially you karmics. Y'all need to wake up because this energy is not playing with y'all no more. This stuff is not going on anymore. And they're not letting it happen. Sorry. Sorry. It's not. Sorry to be the one to tell you or everybody else been telling you. Some of you karmics think that y'all are, are the divine um, uh, divine feminine and you're not. You're not. You just think you are or you want to be. You're a want to be. Okay? Some of some of you out there, this is a karmic reading, okay? Y'all are want to bees. You you just get um uh, go to you're around good people and you take their energy and you use it to your advantage because you use other people your users abusers you don't know what light is compared to dark you know what darkness is you know how to roll on that uh, area anything that has to do with some disrespect for people or or disrespecting things um Lying, cheating, all this other kind of junk that's going on, being secretive, um, having dual relationships uh, with uh, with somebody who is, is innocent in the situation. All this get ready to explode in some of y'all faces. So if you're doing it, just get ready. That's all I can tell you. Get yourself ready and prepared for the big payback because it's coming with all these uh, retrogrades and all, especially Saturn going direct. Saturn don't fucking play. Y'all can look it up yourself. You could look it up yourself. Sorry, somebody's calling. People been calling me, my friends and relatives and things like that. So please forgive me for that. <clears throat> but I do have to keep it open. Because I have to keep my eye out for my father, okay? So 
So yeah, I'm having a situation with that too. But these are strong people that I'm talking about. Very strong. Um, know what they want in life and they help me to be strong. They're helping me to be strong. Sorry again, y'all. Okay, I'm shuffling the cards and stop babbling on. But I'm just so glad to be back, you guys. I really am. Like I said, beware with me with my little cheerfulness and all that stuff. I'm good. You know, my brother is good. And again, thank you all, especially for you ones that got readings. I was so booked up with you guys. And it took me a, a while to get back here online after I'd done y'all readings and, you know, pulling myself, to you know, together. Because I had to do all everything for the whole, the whole nine yards. So, you know, losing someone... Um, that you love everybody go through their ups and downs you know family members stuff like that ain't nothing ever perfect but still all in all losing someone that you grew up with or someone you just love regardless it a little they take a little bit of it with them they take a little bit of you with them because i felt it i felt it so just keep that in mind and try to love one another and be good to one another as much as possible. You know, life is going to be life, okay? <laughs> Things are going to happen. Everything's not going to be peachy key. But try to try to stay in that element as much as possible with someone because time is so precious, okay? And when it does go, it does take something from you. It does. It really does. Okay, so we're in a heavy energy right now, okay? Like I said, the planets are all over the place. People are all over the place because they're not understanding what's happening. Some are calling in, getting greetings, which I had y'all, I had that $25 for a whole hour. And let me tell you something, it took a lot out of me besides what I was going through already, a lot. So I had a lot of, I had to really, really rest up and really <laughs> and going through other things as well like i said but it's just it just helps you be strong it helps you be strong i come on and talk on more about that me and my girls i'm gonna get my girls to come on maybe friday or so and we'll go live and we'll be talking and discussing some things so let me see here that karmic y'all better stop playing is all i can say it's time to stop playing around not looking too good for you guys sorry it's not if you're playing around with people's emotions you know you think this stuff is a game and you think that we're going back to normal and all that no things are getting amped up more more and more things are getting amped up the ancestors are cranking it up as soon as you throw it out they're gonna throw it right back to you you're gonna be hearing about a lot of sicknesses you know <clears throat> and those sicknesses are the ones that I'm talking about are the ones that wished other people's sicknesses, throwing out curses, spells, love spells. I mean, what you know, what I'm trying to figure out is all the people in the world, why would you worry about one, you know, just like spending a bunch of money to, to do something that's just one person? Is that what, what is it? Can somebody tell me, like, out of the millions of billions of people we got on the earth, why does one person? make somebody act like a fruit loop you know what i'm saying why why is it i want to know because i i ain't experienced never experienced that i mean i ain't gonna say i never loved nobody because i have but i just i don't see it to that damn degree to where you got to go out and start you, you know I, there's some mental mental illness behind Karmics. There's there's something mentally ill wrong with them. If you don't know that by now, you need to really like do your homework. Keep people if you're fooling around with these karmics because they they're 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 partial social path uh, social path is what I heard as well. Look, they get no justice. It's justice in reverse. They get no justice. These karmics aren't getting any justice here. 
Soon as they throw something out, it's coming right back to them. Look, Justice is like, look, I ain't fucking around with y'all. I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all and your mess. The more you keep, I try to tell you to stop doing it, and you just keep doing it. You just keep doing little stupid stuff. When it comes to love, relationship, family, shit, it doesn't matter. I hope that's not too loud. Let me turn it down. Sorry about that. Yeah, somebody's sitting around listening, like, their mind is like that music, kind of horrifying, you know? They're like, somebody's tripping. And like I said again, I feel like there's some people out here that's conversing with uh, other, uh, the karmic, and there's a, a male, and this karmic's got this male doing the same thing, like they're going around, uh, they're planning to be together, but what they're going to try to do is do it at somebody else's expense. expense. What I mean by that, they're going to... Uh, go out and seek people that has things or uh, that's good in life, you know, like they're really good or seek out people who are widows and widowers um, and they're going to try to, they're going to use magic or use, or just like I said, they're like a dynamic duo. They're going to, they know what each other are doing and they're participating in this situation. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. They're participating, but there's no judgment in it though. They're not going to get no judgment. Nothing out of it. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. Look. And it's coming fast. Look, swiftness. Like I just told y'all, as soon as y'all put, as soon as the karmics put something out there, you karmics that's out there or whatever, or y'all know a karmic, it's going to come back to them fast really fast no sooner than they throw it out it's coming back to you because like i said the, the way the planets are rotating now it's like they're not they're, the ancestors are up in the ante on this situation they are really throwing it out there look cruelty whoever does some cool shit whoever think they get with some cool shit okay Shit's coming back to you real fast here, okay? It's coming. It's coming fast and you get no justice. So stop trying to run from it. What you need to do is go ahead and sit there and take what you done dished out to someone else. That's what you need to do. Sit your little behind down and take this ju ju judgment and karma that's coming your way for the stuff that you done done. This is what you really need to do here. I'm just trying to help you out. But I know you karmics are a little wacky and, you know, got sociopathic tendencies. And you you, you, uh, you got a lot of uh, tendencies of being narcissistic and selfish and shit. So being that you're all in that state of mind, you know, it, it is causing, you know, you being cruel. You know, the cruelty card done come up. That you uh, don't want to listen you're too deep in some of y'all have sold your soul to the devil period simple as that anytime you get somebody else to to, to go in on making y'all selves rich or making y'all self comfortable off of other people people do it online i'm hearing like some of y'all doing it online lying to women being or, or men too it's men too um Messing with those who are gullible, like say those who are lonely and they really looking for look. I'm trying to tell you people, I'm getting on y'all too who's up there thinking ain't nothing wrong with being to yourself sometime. Matter of fact, that's the best thing that could ever happen in your life. So you can pull yourself together, so you can start thinking for yourself, so you can start looking after self. Because you don't need nobody to do all that for you. You don't need to look outside yourself for love. You'll find that with inside yourself, but spend some time to yourself and stop trying to run all over the place so these people can get you hung up in some stuff that you wish you never did. Take, you know, taking you for your money online. Oh, um, I need an air ticket and I love you. I want to marry you. You know, getting you in, uh, buying them green cards and, and all this type of stuff that's going on. These people are working really, really fast, you guys. So you just got to stay on. You kind of like got to sit back and be still. So we got the devil here. We got the prince of uh, the prince of wands, <laughs> the runner, runner. I done told y'all, Do uh, domination. See, hope y'all can see these. Look, at, it's just what I just what spirit just said to me is coming out as co confirmation. 
There's people out here who's trying to use other people using this devil energy here, you know. Using the devil energy, being low vibrational, okay. Um, with the prince of prince of wands, you know, running and galloping all over the place, trying to get be a lover here, lover there, player here, player there, whether it's a male or female, don't matter. And they're trying to dominate the situation so they can get what they want out of someone. Manipulation at its best here. So you ladies and gentlemen out there who are very gullible at this time, stop it. Stop being so gullible. Stop trying to get. Stop trying. Stop and think before you act, especially if you're going online. I don't like online activity, never did, and I never will because I am old school, I guess. I like stuff the old fashioned way. I like to see you, meet you, see where, uh, so I can do my own little investigation, see where you at, see, you know, see what's up. Because you ain't going to sh show me no picture online and you looking good and then see you in person you or never see you in person. Just catfished, okay? You just took somebody for their money. Who in their right mind? Look, who in their right mind going to give somebody a total stranger money? Who? You got to start thinking about something. You got to start thinking here. All right? It's time to start thinking about the things that you do before you do it. You cannot fall in love with somebody on a freaking computer. <sighs> okay. So, you know, there's a lot of stagnant energy going on here with this hangman here. Stagnant. Stuck. Somebody's going to have y'all stuck in this situation and you ain't going to hardly get out of it. And... For, you know, I'm just saying, there ain't no justice coming to these karmics, though. There's not. There's not. There's not. But they're out here doing it, and they're doing it really fast, okay? So be aware of this online dating situation. Be aware of people in general. Let's get an overall for what's going on with the karmic. I want you people to stop being so damn gullible and wait. Take some time and wait. You you will be more, you'll be happy if you can just take some time out and wait. Think about what you want. Think about your standards. Think about your your morals. And you know, you want to be treated how you how you want to be treated. You want to be treated the way you treat yourself, right? So how are you treating yourself? That's a question to be answered, too. How are you treating yourself? See, mummy. Change. There's change coming along here. There's change coming along here. The, the ancestors are, like I said, they're amping everything up, okay? And they're shutting down these doggone karmics, these spell works, all this type of stuff. They shutting them down. I'm trying to tell you right here it is. They make it, they got to, there's going to be some changes made, some serious changes. You see that, that moon in the back of that mummy? You see that? There's going to be some serious changes. Some people are going to be shut down and they're not going to be able to view the sunshine. The, the sunshine don't even want to look at their asses. Look at that. Sunshine like in back of them like, you know what? While you out here doing this treacherous shit, I got you locked down, shut down. You karmic you. Okay. Got you shut down here. Got your mouth shut up. Got you sitting here looking at your damn self. Okay? <laughs> and this card kept coming up today also. Midnight. Some people, like, uh, if you're doing something at midnight. Here's the freaking. Okay? If you're doing something at midnight, it's going to be shown. Okay? It will be shown and you will be locked down here. Okay, whatever it is you be trying to do to someone here. There's definitely going to be a change. Because whatever you're trying to do at night, it's not going to happen. It's going to be, uh, like I said, it's going to be revealed. And it's going to be shut down really, really fast. Y'all seen the first thing. For some of you, I'm hearing you better be careful when, or you need to be in when the, when the clock strikes 12. 12, 1 plus 2 is 3, okay? So it's about something, something about third party situation for some of you. It's like some of you are married 
with someone already and you know there's like a time limit on you only have a time limit at night where you got to get back before 12 or before the clock hits 12. I don't know what that means to somebody out there you're welcome to put your comments down but there's going to be a change in this situation if somebody thinks they're going out playing somebody at nighttime and then wanting to act like they're going to be shut down spirit is going to shut you down really really quickly here they're not even going to show you the sunlight anymore because it's at your back it also could be a moon okay so see whatever you're doing at night in the sun is going to be revealed here and you're going to be mummified you're just going to be stiff standing there swiftly spirit is coming in here i'm feeling okay so now i want to use my cards here as well <clears throat> karmic confessions you guys can get them hit me up if you like to have them now let's see what they got to say. This one goes. Okay, spirit guys, ancestors. Spirit guys, ancestors, can you tell us what's going on with these karmics? What you have in store? What are they up to in their mind? I know they're out of their mind. We already know that. But what can we warn the people who are dealing with these karmics? What kind of messages can we give them so they can have their eyes open to these karmics? Thank you, Spirit. Sorry for the noise on you. Okay. Okay. Slick bitch. I've seen somebody think they slick. Okay, so watching you, there's somebody. Wow, you see that? They try to knock it out my hand, okay? But I got it, okay? Some of these karmics are watching the um, divine masculines or the feminine. Remember, this can go either way. But somebody's watching. They got their eye on you. They in the background watching just to see what the hell's going on. Being nosy as hell. Instead of being still, you know, they still trying to plot and plan and do, do some things. This is what they want to do. Spell work. I keep telling you guys, okay, I was like a little about like nah you know forget that kind of stuff but you know as i did my research and things come to find out yes we've all had uh ancestors that done spell work and things like that but they done it for the good okay they done it to help people whether their health or whether it was someone who was bothering them i mean they didn't they just like put protection over them it wasn't where they casted anything out but these karmics here are trying to put spell work still on the either divine masculine or the feminine it could be either or both so be careful y'all protect yourselves okay but that's okay though let me see what the ancestors got to say about this mm -mm. let's see here and then i'll get back to those so i'm using the ancestor uh voodoo cards what about this spell work? What do you got planned for these people, these karmics with this spell work? Too many of them came out. Let me go ahead and light this up again. Sage. I tell y'all it's going to be alone. Get your popcorn, cookies, candy, whatever. And sit back and chill and listen to what's up. Okay, ancestors, beloved ancestors, spirit guys. What is it that you're going to do about this spell work? Even though you did tell us, but we're going to look into it again as to be for sure. What is it about this spell work? And this person that's watching someone, this karmic. What, what energy are we giving out here? What are you allowed to do? Hmm. Father of Baskets, which is the uh, Ace of Cups. Okay, so with this watching you card, the ancestors are like... The 
the ancestors to me is telling me that the love that you're you know that you're that you're trying to get it doesn't belong to you and they're not going to allow you to have it because why because you are doing spell work you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing here now let's see what the ancestors say about this see that uh they're, they're protected. Whoever you're doing this spell work on is very much protected by the spirit. Okay? Because that's the father there, Baskets, which is the king. That's the king of cups coming. Okay? If you're, This is who you're looking at. This is who you're spying on. It's a, a, a masculine energy. So you got the two of sticks, Okay? The two of sticks here was with this spell work is like it's going it's not going to touch nobody it's just going to leave okay it's it, it's not going to fall through with the two of uh, wands there which are the two of sticks let's see something else here mm -mm. it's not going to work it's going to go away and these are ancestors talking okay all right i'm verifying with the ancestor hoodoo card deck Y'all can get them online somewhere if you like to have them. The book is awesome. Okay, what is it that else you want to tell us what's going on here? Gossip. Somebody's gossiping. Somebody's out there got a big mouth, okay? They're wondering why this spell work is not working on the divine masculine here because this is a masculine that somebody's watching, which is the karmic. Um, and they're doing spell work like as usual. That's what I'm hearing as usual. But the the ancestor has the two of, of, of sticks here and they're blocking that spell work from going through. So now this person's got a lot to talk about. Like they may have had other people that's doing this for them. They're like, hey, this ain't working. What's going on? I paid you so-and-so amount of money because you can see people going, look, the one ear to the other ear to the other ear to the other. Somebody could have several karmics as well like doing this stuff or and telling the because <laughs> look at the masculine's face look at him like i said i i get a heavy energy of that uh, there's a cahoots going on with the masculine and the karmic for some of you not all of you there's there's some kind of cahoots where they're sending out people to, like I said, to wreck other people's lives, to get their money, to get their finances, to get whatever they can get out that person. And then they run off and leave this person after they get all they get. You know, some kind of shankster stuff going on. Gangster, shankster, uh, Bonnie and Clyde type of shit. So somebody's trying to get away here all right somebody's getting away somebody's being told something I, I i'm almost this is another scenario somebody's being told about what this karmic is doing and now they want to run they want to get away they want to get out of the situation they're starting to believe now because of the some of the stuff that's going on okay All right, so let's see what the ancestors say about this gossip. Two cards fell out, y'all. The Ace of Knives, okay? The gossip is about the truth, okay? Whatever these people are telling, the, the I'm, tell, I'm feeling like it's divine masculine. Whatever these people are telling them is the truth. Look at that Ace of uh, the. the They're telling somebody the truth regarding this karmic. They're telling them the truth. The messages that are coming through from these people to the divine masculine, they're telling them the truth. And the getaway card, all right? The ancestor said the daughter of coins, okay? See? Somebody getting away, somebody's running away from somebody. They found out that they run in some kind of scam with the karmic and the... A little, be bear with me here because this is a karmic and a, a divine masculine working together as a duo that's the biggest message that i got here and you guys need to be careful about online situations because this could be online too it's a discovery of something it's a discovery of the truth from these people who are, are telling 
you or trying to let you know. And the getting away card is, like I said, with the daughter of coins. Somebody's trying to get away with getting somebody's money here. Okay? Somebody's trying to, or, 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 or either or um, the, the Divine Master is trying to get away with somebody trying to be in their pockets all the time, trying to be nice. Somebody who has a family, okay? For some of y'all, this is somebody who has a family. They have a boy and a girl, okay? And they can have a man also involved in this, letting this karmic use another person to get what they want, the dynamic duo, okay? This is what this looks like to me. It's what I'm feeling as well. Somebody has a daughter and a son. The ancestors are, are alerting this person through these other people to let them know you you know you need to set yourself free here. You need to have some truth and clarity here. Uh, and ancestors are sending these people to you, okay, to let you know that somebody's trying to get away with you know getting your money, all right? But it's not going to happen, all right. Uh, ancestors going to stop it, all right. And for some of you, they're saying you're allowing this to happen. Some of you are so desperate that you're allowing this to happen because you want someone so bad. Okay? Well, look, you're the divine feminine. You're not supposed to be feeling desperate. You already have everything that you need. Everything you need is within. So, you know, get it together and stop wor worrying about what this divine masculine doing okay some of the divine masculines has been told about this situation some of them did not know what was going on because of the spell work but spirit has come in and look the, the ma all these cards are saying you know spirit is blocking this person totally blocking they are let's get into something else here because we have several, there's a lot of stuff going on, y'all, out here. A lot. There's a lot. And it's all going to bring on change in the end. In the end, it's going to be changes made. This stuff right here is going to come to an end. We are in the great awakening now, okay? For those who want it. Sit tight. Sit back. Don't worry about these spells. Because it's coming right back to these karmics don't worry about it do you there's other things that spirit wants you to do um as this time as the divine masculine get his stuff together you're going to have to have your stuff together period you know what rather you wait or whether you you know find someone else you know you still have to get your own self together you, you, you know you got to learn to love who you are period learn to love who you are learn to be by yourself for a while okay um, so you can have a better understanding of who you are and what you're, you know, what you're, how valuable you are. You're not just someone to be used and abused. Okay, spirit guides, ancestors, please tell us some more information regarding the karmics and what are they up to. See, my lights keep flickering. Mm-hmm. So I had to light my sage. If y'all want some sage and beautiful candles, you can go to um, Queen of Wands. Um, and she sells her own candles. They are so beautiful. I have one lit back here. And the sage, the sage is so, it's the best sage I've ever had since I've had sage. You know, other than using my leaves when I want, you know, when the time comes to use leaves, which will be coming here soon. This is like the best energy I felt and I got a little couple of surprises from her. I want to thank her for that too. So and going over and check her channel out. She's really good, you guys. Exposing these karmics and things that's going on, okay? Everybody had their own way of, of, of reading because spirit deals with each and every one of us differently. I may not be the reader for you. There's other readers out here, but I'm very plain spoken and to the point. I'm an older woman, and I've been through things, so there's nothing here I'm saying that didn't happen to me either, okay? So remember that. I'm don't. I'm not judging. I'm just doing what the Spirit wants me to do. So a lot of you are going to have to read between the lines 
Okay? You're going to have to read between the lines. You can't sit there and act like you don't see nothing or know nothing. The signs are being given to you. Because sometimes, now, when spirit knows, your ancestor knows that you're, you're allowing things to happen like this, they will continue to allow you to do it until you get to where you, you know, you get hurt really, really bad. Okay? So, be careful of that. Of allowing it, knowing that it's happening and allowing it. You need to be careful is what I heard spirits say. You be careful of that. The ones that are being protected is the ones that don't know. They don't know they're in this stuff. They don't know what these how sneaky and slimy these people are. They don't know it. Or they're doing it behind their back. Something like that. They don't know it. But spirit is really, really protecting those. So if you, if you grab someone being sneaky and conniving and doing all kind of things, spirit's going to get them. Okay? If some of y'all dealing with karmics who is a, a, a free spirit, it's like they out there, okay? They are out there. They don't give a shit, okay? They just like hanging on a limb, like they hanging on a limb. They don't even care no more. They're like, I don't even care. And that's what you need to read in between the lines about. They don't care about what they do, who they do it with, and how. Protect yourself. See? Because they're the freaking player. Or the playette. However you want to put it. They're a player. They like, they're playing games. Somebody, you know, they're playing games. And some of you who know it, this is going to, they're going to allow it to happen because you already know. Because you're so desperate to have somebody in your life. So they're going to let you go through the pain and heartache. Now for those who don't know this stuff going on behind your back, you're being honest and true to a person. And you, you know, they're just sneaky, being a de rock devil. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to have a bleeding heart. Okay, their heart's going to bleed like how your heart is is bleeding or or will be bleeding once you find this shit out, what they're doing with this karmic. And, you know, <laughs> Spirit's going to put them in a timeout, all right? Timeout, just like a kid. Look, timeout, no more. This is enough. You don't cause enough uh, heartache here, being a player, free spirit, running around, doing this person and that person, all this type of shit. Need time to read the line because you know what? Somebody acting like they're available. If somebody's in a relationship with someone, they're acting like they're available. They're open. They're in an open relationship with someone. That's what they are. And they're pretending like they're available. That's why the you know, ancestors coming back with this time out. Oh, this has got to end. Like, what? You think you're going to have your cake and eat it too? I don't think so. Uh-uh. You think you're going to go around, you know, like... Cars a lot of heartache and pain with the bleeding heart. Your heart going to everything's going to come back to you as you being trying to be free spirited. I heard somebody's coming out of the closet, and you need to read between the lines on this person. And this player to energy, we already done talked about that. Okay, take a shot and hung up. Okay. <laughs> Let me... I feel like, yeah, somebody's either knowing about this situation. That's what I talked about earlier. Somebody knowing a situation about a karmic or somebody who is like... Somebody could be drinking a lot or, you know, going through some type of depression and drinking, taking a lot of shots with this free-spirited person, I'm feeling. And the player as well. And it's time to hang up, okay? Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. Hang it up. This person, somebody, I'm hearing this, had an intoxication, an intoxicated conversation with someone. Like, they got intoxicated and called somebody and started talking a whole bunch of you know, bull BS, okay, and they got hung up on, okay, because it was just drunk talk. You got to realize, too, sometimes drunk drunk people tell the truth, all right, while they're drinking. So, it put things in limbo, okay, spirit is coming line, like, you know what, it's time to, you know, put some time out, okay, again, putting things on hold, hanging up. Somebody could have a... a um, a falling out or a breakup with somebody 
I'm also feeling the energy. Somebody caught somebody in the club with someone else or caught somebody in the club with another a male or male situation or a woman on woman situation. They didn't know it. That's what I'm hearing. Yep, flamboyant. See that? See that? Somebody may have been a cross dresser. Somebody may have found that somebody's being cross dressed here. Cross dressing while you're not around. A lot of stuff is coming out. Spirit is, I'm telling you, we. this is the age of discovery, okay? This is the age of communication. This is the age of, look, the axe is coming down on a lot of people. Axe to the grind, okay? There's a lot of things going on in the world today. Now's the time to pay attention. It's you can pay, you can go back into your little world of, of nonsense all you want to, but guess what? You're gonna have a rude awakening here if you're not waking up. A lot of people are waking up. A lot of people I talk to, you guys are awesome. You're awesome, and you're going somewhere. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? Don't let nobody play you for a fool. Because the fool is going to be them if you just sit back and take a time out and watch. Just watch. Spirit's going to show it to you. You know, and they're saying slow down. Steady now. So slow down. Take your time. This shit is going to come to an end. Okay? Whatever this person who flamboyant. This mommy is somebody who could be a, a narcissist as well. They really don't give a shit. Okay? Or somebody's trying to slow you down, okay? Because they're out for something that you got, okay? And if y'all know it, be careful. Because Spirit's going to let it happen is what I'm hearing. If you know certain situations, if you know certain things that this person is doing, you're just tolerating it because you don't want to be alone or you feel, you know, insecure and all this type of shit that these karmics and stuff pick up on anyway that's why they end up using you be careful be careful you don't want to get hurt this way all right not this way i heard spirit's gonna let it happen if you keep on dealing with it because some of you i'm hearing you already know you already know what this person's about Okay, so let's look at some mixed messages here. Somebody's been getting some mixed messages or something big, some messages has been coming through to someone. I got a card in here that shouldn't be, but I'm going to let it stay in case it, it may want to come out. Maybe spirit wanted to come out. Let's see what it says here. Disconnected. Okay, so some, some, there's going to be some type of breakup, an ending of something. There's definitely disconnection with someone here. Excuse me. Some of you, I'm hearing that this person... Somebody is with someone who lives abroad. They don't live near you or they live in another state, maybe another city or something like that. And they're they're trying to play you. Spirit's going to bring it out to your attention because you don't know. You're innocent in this situation. They're playing you. They're trying to take control of a situation so they can have their cake and eat it too. But Spirit's get ready to, I'm telling you, Keep your eyes open. Be still. Don't really say nothing. I mean, even though you're hearing this information, still stay low is what I hear. Still stay. Because this is just going to be, Spirit's just going to throw it right in your face. They're going to show it to you. They're going to show it to you. And you'll just be, it, so at least you'll know by this uh, reading, you'll know what to expect. And when it happens, it won't hit you so hard, okay? It's a hopeless situation, okay? With these karmics, they're hopeless. They are hopeless. They are drowning in their own little boats or someone else's boats. It's just hopeless. Their, their situations, the things that they are doing is causing hopelessness, okay? But it's going to inspire someone to do the right thing, okay? 
for some of you. Some of you are going to be safe. The ones I told you about that you don't know nothing of, that you live a distance from someone. Spirit is watching over you. You're going to be safe. And some of you are going to be happy as hell too. When all this comes out, you're going to be like, you're not going to be as sad as what you think that you are. Because I'm picking up an energy that you, you, knew, you, you know something was up. You just kind of, some of you just kind of waited, like I was saying, just wait, don't really do nothing yet. Because this reading is not for everybody, it's only for some, okay? Some of you already got away from your karmics and things like that and moved on with your life and stuff. If that's going on, it's not your reading. But this is for people, this, 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 this karmic energy that's, you know, trying to amp, trying to, they're trying to do things really really fast they're like out they're major out of control okay they're majorly out of control i feel like somebody is going to get love as well or somebody's going to be have a baby bring a new baby or just something new into the world with this happy card and save um and somebody's just going to leave this spirit's going to Expose, I told you, somebody who is hopeless in this situation. They, it's like they can't get to you no more. For some of you, you're going to be finding out something about someone. They can't get to you no more. Actually, they're just going to help you to um, inspire you to do what other things with your life rather than just worry about love. You're going to be worried about, some, you're going to be doing some things that has to do with, with your prosperity, with your money, with um, your entrepreneurship, I'm hearing. And it's going to, you know, you're going to be safe as the world goes, as the world turns and outside, you'll be safe inside. Just stay low, work, you know, keep on being inspired and, and making your dreams come true because it is going to make you happy. There's all that sunshine right there and it's going to bring on love, but it will be real love. For some of you, you may, like I said, might end up with a family, married. Now, for these karmics, it looks like they're frustrated because of this. They can't do what they used to do anymore. So they're frustrated. They can't move. No, you keep on moving. You keep moving because they're frustrated. They're all tied up. Look, they're in traffic. They can't even move. Dead stop there. That's spirit doing that. Like, they can't get to you anymore. They can't. They're hopeless and frustrated while you're moving on to where you need and being safe with spirit watching over you and keeping this person him down because they have no good intentions in their heart. They're going to be regretful. There's going to be some regret here, okay? They're really going to feel it. The way they treated you or the way they done you, they're going to be in regret of regretful. See, this person's got look, they're they're, they're going to be remembering. See that? They probably tore pictures and all that stuff out of anger. Now they want to try to put it back together. Regretful. This person's got some regretful energy here. Big time for the way they treated you. They're going to get what they put out. What they put out, they're going to get. There's going to be a lot of crying and stuff going on. It really is. While you're being fulfilled. See, this person reaching out and all that. See, I'm reaching out for, you know, trying to cry somebody's trying to manipulate a person by crying and i feel like somebody's already hit to it it's like they keep they this is repetitive to them for them to be receptive in this kind of way but they're re, they're they are in regret but see they're frustrated because they can't get to you anymore because why you're you're getting your wish fulfillment that's why they got their hands out like, this is what I wanted. I wanted that. I, I wanted this. I wanted that wish fulfillment. But no, you wanted to be a player. This person's empowered. They got the whole world in their hand now. See? <laughs> I don't know how to put this up to you. I, I, I got to get me another camera so it can bring down on this. These cards. Look at that. They're regret. They're regretful here. Okay, very regretful. 
you know, they're trying to be receptive and get something, but it's like they crying, you know, crying tears, like trying to make it f feel like it's your fault. And in spirit got them all tied up. They can't go nowhere. They can't do nothing. That's why they're regret. They wishing. They hoping. They crying and shit. But you know, you're 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 being fulfilled, okay? Divine feminine or divine masculine, you're being fulfilled, and you got the world in your hands now without this person in your life. Whoever this person was, was a nightmare, okay? They were a nightmare. They treated you with a lot of disrespect and the ancestors don't like it let's see who this person is if y'all can be familiar with this person i'm going to use my deck i'm going to use my deck here i'm going to um <clears throat> i got some coming in from the printer okay uh these are the sexy motherfucker gods and goddesses let's see who's <clears throat> let's see what this is about Hmm. That one to come out. And that one to come out. Wow. That one. Okay, um, somebody has pet, sorry if I don't say these words right, Pitho, Pitho, this is the goddess of uh, persuasion and seduction, so this is the karmic, she's, 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 she, she knows how to seduce men, okay, she does, so for the male, some of you have a best, the god of music, dance, and sexual pleasure. So somebody here, like I said, I feel like these two work together. This could be a work situation. They both could be like dancers, strippers, something like that. And they in cahoots to, you know, kind of like get other people, these single women or single men, and, and embezzle them out of their money. You know, a lot of them go towards widows and widowers, people that are desperate people that they you know and they just tell them anything they tell them anything to get whatever they can get out of them okay so we have frail Freya, um the phallic god of lust marriages and peace yeah i just feel like there's a couple here there's like a couple people here doing this and one of these per people could be already married, but they are, they're, they're cheating. Somebody's cheating here. Now, somebody has pathos, okay? Pathos, y'all want to see. I'm going to bring them back up. Okay, this is the god of sexual desire, fantasy, and imagination. Okay, again, I feel like all these people here... Are working together I feel like they're you know on someone of uh, the seduce to go out get money from people who are married even in marriages they don't even care okay they're creating all kind of fantasies doing what they need to do to get whatever they need to get from someone here let me go ahead and clarify it Clarify what I'm clarifying with. Okay, let me clarify this. Okay, what's this goddess of seduction here? Persuasion. Knows how to persuade using her, her powers to seduce. What is she about here? Wow, four cards came out. Thank you, Spirit. The King of Pentacles. The Fool. The Queen of Pentacles. See, this shit is about money. Sorry about that. 
This is about money, finances. And we got the page of swords, you know, information online, shit, spying, trying to find out something about somebody, all the information that they can get about someone here. Somebody's going to experience a temp. These cards are really slippery. Somebody's going to experience a ten of swords energy when they find this out. They find out they've been played. Okay, mind games. But there is, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. You know, what ends always starts a new beginning. So with this goddess of uh, seduction and persuasion, this is someone who likes to manipulate and use her body uh, to get what she wants with the king of pentacles, which is money. King of pentacles um, is usually a father figure. They could be a father. They could be married already with children. And they're dealing with somebody who is very persuasive and taking them for their money so be careful you could be a virgo that's doing this or in something like this so with bess here the god of music dance and sexual pleasure again i feel like these people are all working together okay they do dancing or something like that and they got the full card okay so somebody's ready to take a, a, a leap of faith from this person from this situation somebody's taking a leap of faith away from it somebody's starting a brand new life maybe it's this person maybe they don't like doing what they're doing anymore maybe the karma's done hit them so bad that they don't even like it doing it anymore so somebody look like they're on their way out of this situation or it could be the divine feminine divine masculine it could be anyone just however it fits now the god of lust marriages and and peace Okay, so, but this this is a lustful energy, though, even though this person is married. I'm picking up this person's married and, and possibly has children, too. This is they're messing with a lot of people that are in unhappy marriages. And it's the Queen of Pentacles here. It could be a woman-on-woman -woman relationship. It could be anything like that, man-on-man. -man, but they are about, you know, they coins. They're about getting their money in any way possible, you know? Somebody's persuading somebody somebody here for money but this person is already taken they're already taken they're already married they're in a marriage but they're not sexually happy so they use they give somebody finances to sexually please them okay whoever that may be out there i don't know i'm just reading the messages now with pathos the god of sexual desire, fantasy, and imagination. That means, you know, this is somebody who manipulates to get what they want. Okay? They manipulate. They they put on a show. They'll do whatever they need to do. Okay? And they got the uh, page of swords. Yeah, they seek people out. Okay? they they This person seeks people out. All right? They spy on them. They find out a lot of information about the person before they go in for the kill. Okay, so this I'm picking up on online too. This some of this stuff is online happening here, and you guys need to be aware of what's going on and who these people really are about. I feel like there's a couple of them that's working together. I feel like one of them here may be trying to get out of this situation because you know, karma, 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 things are happening so fast. As soon as they put stuff out there, it comes hit them right back. This person may be going, you know, ghost to and start a whole new brand life, brand new life because of karma for the things that they've done to other women or other men. Yeah, this page of swords, okay. This person, like I said, they're they've done their homework, they do their homework, and then they put that fantasy out there of what you like once they find out everything of what you like, and then they perform it. They'll perform it. They'll but they'll get they get information. Okay, so be careful with what you're telling somebody here, especially if you're online, you haven't met this person yet. Um, there's someone here who is married who needs to cut this shit out because, like I said, karma's coming up here and it's coming in really, really fast. You're already married in a, a relationship. I'm feeling like this. you have children, whether it's a male or a female. 
and you know you're getting you, you're getting drained of your finances here somebody's worried about nothing but the finances nothing but the money or you're giving money to someone to sexually please you if you're not happy in your marriage don't lead the person on just let go let let it go don't bring nobody else into your drama that's what we got to learn to do as people too. We're grown. We're hu we're grown people here. We ain't got to be playing all these little mind games, this little play stuff. Some people get a kick out of it, so let them get a kick out of it. Don't you be a part of it. That's what I just heard Spirit say. Don't you be a part of it. How about that? Because what goes around always comes back around. Remember that before you get into this stuff. And it's coming around very fast spirit is having no mercy all right that's the energies that's here now with neptune going retrograde um uh, mercury going retrograde we got saturn going direct and that's whoo and then we got jupiter in there somewhere y'all read up on this stuff so you can see exactly what i'm talking about here this is it's not no joke here this is not a joke now. I'm trying to tell you. Every time I do some type of reading, I'm going to go ahead and sage a little. Some of you need to protect yourself. Some of you need to let go of a karmic, this karmic situation stuff. Because like I said, they're in for their, uh, they are going to get it for karma. But some of you may end up with some of that karma too for uh, knowing about it. Like I said, and, and that's not everybody. Some people, I'm hearing that you know about it already. Okay, now let's see how the karmic feels about the d divine masculine. Let's see what the divine masculine... I'm going to do a full, car, full, full one for the karmic over here. Okay, four card spread. This is for the karmic over on this side here. I wish I could show you all these cards here, but this, my camera's not ready positioned for it. But I will show you the cards that comes out. Okay, what's on the karmic spirit? What's going on with the karmic? How are they feeling about the divine masculine? Okay, now how the divine masculine feeling about the karmic? Where are they at with this karmic? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? How's the divine masculine feeling about the karmic? Okay, let's see here and then I'm going to clarify as well the karmic here all right okay so we have the nine of Pentacles and the eight of cups okay so the karmic is like worried about money period that's all they worried about with their little ugly self look at them look like a some kind of space alien okay worrying about money thinking that they got it together thinking that you know that's all they worried about is coins their money what they can get what they can spend very materialistic could be a virgo taurus capricorn uh but somebody's here walking away as well okay or they you they want somebody's money so and they don't want them to walk away they, this karmic don't want this this karmic does not want the masculine to walk away with the eight of cups okay the eight of cups about walking away they're trying to block them with money someone could be taking their money and, and giving it to the uh, divine masculine so he can be happy to keep him around to keep him from walking away okay 
So the karmic feels like the ace of wands, okay? Or feeling this from the uh, masculine that he's like, he don't, he just don't want to participate anymore. He's not feeling the passion. He doesn't want a new beginning. He's tired of this being used or being played like, you know, like they, like they ain't nothing without them, without the karmic, you know, the karmic is starting to look, uh, look, this is another, it, the karmic is starting to look really ugly to the divine masculine now. Look at that. She thinks she's beautiful. She thinks she's got it going on. Or maybe she was at one time. But all this negative energy that she put out to this divine masculine. She just started showing her true self. Who she truly was. Her mask fell off. Okay. Her mask fell off. Here's the ten of wands right here. Ten of wands talks about some type of fast communication. So I feel like. The, the, the karmic is trying to stop the masculine from moving forward by either using because they need them for money or and that's all they worried about is money in themselves or is for some of you the, the karmic is using the the divine masculine for money so they don't, that's why they don't want them to walk away with the eight of cups so we're with the you know but the Divine, the, the masculine has lost the karmic know the masculine has lost passion for them because they they barely have sex okay I'm just going to tell you what it's saying to me they barely have sex together okay barely as what they started in the beginning it's like he ain't feeling it to the wands he's ready to release these you know burdens and she knows it this is what the karmic knows about the divine masculine she knows he's fed up and done so the, the divine masculine here has the page of swords and the seven of uh the chariot okay so see he's figuring stuff out he's gathering all kind of information he's finding out a lot of things about this karmic that he did not know before you know especially the witchcraft that he not does not care about he's seeing thing for what it truly is he's he's also for and, and he's ready to go with the chariot card he's ready to take off and just go all right ready to take off and go here okay divine masculine is like the three of pentacles okay this person they know that this person is using them for money and had possibly had them in a third party situation with just three of pentacles okay three dogs there the the, the divine um the uh the divine masculine is thinking or knowing he may have gotten some kind of information with the page of swords the page of swords is nosy as hell they find out what they need to find out and they probably found out that they was being got by somebody who had somebody else like Taking the money from the masculine and giving it to somebody else that they were dealing with. So they had them in a third party plus taking their money and giving it to this other person. All right. That's what I just heard. Okay. And here's the queen of cups. Okay. Now, master is ready to go back to the, um, to the divine feminine now. They see their ways. They see what happened here. They see what they've done. They've seen their mistakes. And they're ready to haul ass with this chariot card here. They done found out some information about this person that was keeping secrets. You know, three dog night. Th three dog night, okay? Third party was here. They was getting money. The karma was getting money from them. Making them think that they were going to have some kind of home or something together. Or something. Some kind of future together. Come to find out, he, they were she was he or she was taking the money back to this other person and the masculine feels foolish he feels foolish he does he feels foolish about this or she feels foolish because she or he was in love with the wrong person now let's go ahead and um We're going to go ahead and clarify this. Let me get my uh, Dark Mansion uh, Tarot deck. As y'all know, I'm using dark and, uh, cards. All the dark cards I can find. <laughs> I'm using them. 
Okay, Spirit God, can you go ahead and tell me with the Nine of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles? I told y'all this was going to be a long one. We're at an hour 15 minutes now. But I had a lot of information I had to get to you guys. Hmm, that's too many. Did they take all of these? Okay, I thought not. I gotta learn how to zoom this thing out. I tried to even push it back so you can see. I, I gotta get used to this stuff. I I have it. I have it ready, y'all. After I practice for a minute, cause if, I think I gotta get a different type of uh, camera that can actually rotate all the way down. Y'all been with me for a while. You know I don't play no games here, okay? I don't have time. Okay. So, yeah, the Five of Swords, they know that they're being deceptive. The Six of Wands, okay? Uh, about a home situation. Somebody don't want to leave. This karmic don't want this person to leave. But they're being deceptive as hell, okay? With this Five of Swords, they're trying to win at all costs, even if they have to use money to do it, to keep this... Um, this uh, divine masculine around they're using money they're using manipulation they're trying to win at all costs okay with the five of swords they're being deceptive as shit okay this eight of swords see they don't want them to leave because of a home they, they need them for you know the security that's what they want them for security only with the four of wands being here they're trying to stop them from leaving because they need them for security money but this karmic has someone else they're they're bamboozling the divine feminine i'm, I'm sorry the divine masculine okay so with the ace of swords in reverse then we got the three of pentacles in reverse see they don't want no new beginning with this see they know it the karmic knows now that the divine masculine don't want no new beginning with them. They don't want to work with them no more. They don't even want to give them no more money. They're not doing anything. They don't want no sex. And they don't want no money. All right? Period. All right? And the karmic knows it. Because this is their energy. This is what they know. So, with the ten of wands, some, they're going to some try to... They're going to try to use some type of seduction or something like that. Trying to come in real fast, hasty. Real, very, very hasty. Some fast communication coming in. Okay? With the Ten of Wands. With the Star card on top of it. They're going to come by like they so crystal clean. And, you know, they doing the right thing. And they sorry. And, um... They 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 want you, they want you they want you to be the one for them. They've been dreaming. It's it's a bunch of hogwash. Cause I'm gonna clarify it again. Tonight I'll be eating chicken tikka masala with garlic. Okay, show me why the star card is here, spirit. Star card is here. Yeah, seven of pentacles. See, they waiting. They they want money. They want somebody to wait for them to give them money. That's what they're waiting on. They just want to keep getting that more money, that coin. Some of y'all out there, you know what's up. So now let's look over here on the uh, page of swords for the Divine Masculine. She, she, she's waiting. She knows. She's, she's going to try her little sweet talk. Look at this. Or he. It could be go either way. All right, they're going to try to stop someone from moving forward with the Ten of Wands, and they're going to start with this star shit. Like they so, like they got it, like they got more than what the uh, Divine Fem has, or try to act like they the Divine Fem or something. And, and you know, like they go to offer some type of money, or they're just there for money. There, that's what they're waiting on. They're waiting on to see what the, what they can do. Because they already know that they don't the, that the divine masculine don't want them anymore. They already know it, but they're still going to try something. Keep on trying is all I can say. <laughs> 
Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. See, that's what I'm saying. The Divine Masculine done found something out, okay? And he stopped and is dead in his tracks, okay? Um, he was finding out, you know, he, you see he got that coin tucked in his, like on some of the cards you see, the coin is like right out there, you know, like right out here. And they're just looking at it like, okay, somebody waiting to do something with something or give somebody an offer. This person is not going to give their, they got that coin tucked away and look. And then they feel um, drained. They even got the horse feeling drained. Look at that horse. They got the horse feeling drained. Like, when are we going to freaking... Somebody, like, just stop dead in their tracks be behind what they found out about this karmic. That's what happened. Okay, let's look at this Seven of Swords. Oh, I'm sorry, the Chariot card, which is a major arcana card. This is all about leaving, moving forward, okay? Got the High Priest. Yeah. The Divine Masculine has used their intuition and found out about what was going on behind the scenes. He had some kind of intuition and it stopped him in his tracks. Okay? He found out something either from some people or himself been, being a private investigator. Some of them could have went and got a private investigator and found out the secrets about this karmic bitch. Alright? He found it out. Okay? Either using intuition or find, or you know, just intuitively, the, the spirit guides could have came to him and told him, and then that's when he said, "I'm haul ass and out of this." The karma could have had him set up, try to get him set up on some shit, and it could have had something to do with putting a name on a house or trying to make some false investments or something like that for this karmic, so they can just run off and be with somebody else. They were trying to sucker play somebody here. I feel that energy he heavily. Okay, with this Three of Pentacles, here's the Devil card. Somebody could have been talking to a Capricorn. Yeah. They knew. They see what this person was doing. Being the, Playing with the Devil. Somebody was found out they was playing with the Devil itself. Okay, look at that. They found out that they was in cahoots with the Devil. <laughs> Okay, what about this Queen of Cups? Okay. The Ace of Wands and the Upright. Okay, yeah, like I said, now the Divine Masculine wants to go back to the person he truly loves, okay? And truly, ha look, has a lot of passion for and desire for. This one that he left for this here, this karmic person here. He's ready to go back. He's excited. He's happy that, and he found out some things about this person that he did not know. This karmic had him in a spell, okay? Had him in a spell here. Whether you take them back, that's up to you, but they do want to come back. And here it is showing the Ace of, of Cups here. They do. They want to bring you emotions, love, marriage, possibly marriage for some of you with this, these two Aces. Excited passionate, gun-ho, ready to go because they look at you as being, you know, their queen or their king. It just depends on who's talking about who. And they're definitely going to fight off this karmic that may try to come in. Or, for some of you, may not take this person back. They might say, no, hey, you, you, you made a mistake. It's your mistake. You got to pay for it, okay? Because, you know, I'm tired of these little bitty offers that you be trying to make with the page of, of cups. Is this the page? Yeah, page of cups. I'm tired of these little bitty offers. You're going to have to do better than that. you have to come better than that because, you know, the, the angels is calling you out on what you've done to me. That's what that's what Spirit is saying for the divine feminine, masculine. He's got to go through some things. And, you know, with this family situation that he tried to make work, with someone else, this other person is going to someone else because they want to be financially secure. So it looks like to me, for some of you may take this person back. For a lot of you, I feel like you're not. And this person done lost out on both ends. The karmic done went on to somebody that, you know, for financial reasons. They were keeping somebody on the side just for sex and money whatever they can get out of this situation this person was very cold-hearted very 
domineering. They wanted to dominate everything. They got a kick off of it. And the Divine Masculine felt, found all of this out after a long period of time. But there is going to be... A, they're not going to give up a Divine Femme. See? They're not going to give up. They're going to have another offer coming in here. Or you're going to get another whole another offer from a Virgo. Yeah, I just feel like somebody's going to have a new beginning here because somebody is really hurt regarding this situation. Um, we got the king and the queen here. There could be a divorce. They, somebody, if you're married and find out this stuff, it could be a divorce going on because the queen is in reverse. The king is in the upright, you know. I feel like there may be a divorce going on because secrets done came out and now here's the world card. So somebody's going to just like move on. They're going to, you know, go take another journey. They're going to walk through this cycle, this cycle that that uh, is coming to an end for a, a, for a lot of you. I'm picking up. You're just going to end this cycle. It's been going on for too long and you're tired. Um, because you were caught up in a third party situation. They kept putting you in a third party situation over and over again that's why you're not going to take them back for a lot of you um male or female that's going to re relate to you not taking them back because or she back because they just put you through too much grief uh with this third party situation just kept letting it ride and ride over their lust over their little player ways you know rushing around thinking they this and thinking they that um ego tripping going from one person to the another um too much running around and you just ain't having it because you're looking at yourself as a queen you just you're you're learning to love yourself here and um sorry for some of you male or females that wanted this person back you, you took advantage of them too many times and spirit is giving you call you out on judgment we already seen the judgment card so you have to go through, if y'all want to wait, you know, you're going to have to wait because this person's got to go through their karma and spirit's not letting them even come, looks like to me they're not even letting them come around you. They're blocking it. They're going to block it some kind of way. Maybe they're going to send you someone to occupy your time while they was out there occupying their time and they call themselves being with you. Okay, so maybe that's, that's just going to flip flop. Okay, it's going to go... And they're going to get hurt, okay, over the situation. Let's see what the divine... The top results. What? <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Mm I did something. I don't know what it did. Okay, so. Let's see what the Divine Femme is going to do with all this. For sure. Okay. Just a second. Let me put some more. And I'm going to come back and do you guys' uh, monthlies, okay? For the month of October. For each sign. But this message I had to get out because I had a dream about it heavily. Okay, so what are we looking at with the Divine Finn? How's the Divine Finn feel about all this? It's like, I feel like somebody's saying, I'm so sick of you. Like, somebody's just disgusted and sick of someone here in their action. See, judgment. 
divine masculine is going to go through judgment for this. You got an angel that's watching over you, that's taking care of you, that's protecting you. They're they're blocking. They're going to be blocking the divine masculine because he has to suffer his karma here. See, he's got to take. He got to stand up for his responsibilities. Everything that he put you through, he's got to. He's got to take that. He's got to walk with that. Okay. He definitely has to walk in this energy because the angel right now is blocking them from you, Divine Finn, because you didn't do a damn thing. They put this on themselves. So we're going to see what happens here. Okay, the page is... The, the, this is the page of wands. So you could be getting having some kind of bright new beginning or a bright a, a, a new idea about something and being real and excited about it it's some kind of news coming to you that you might find someone else like i said it just may flip flop on this person um if it doesn't you know hey you know somebody has to suffer and learn and if you're willing to wait for them to learn their lesson um but I feel like for a lot of you, it's just been happening t too frequently and you're just tired of it. You're, you, you've you learned to grow and know who you are and, and love yourself. Okay, because we have the Knight of um, <clears throat> the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, they've been just like too much of a player for you all over the place, keeping things stagnant. First they want in, then they go out. Or, you know, maybe they were treated this way by someone as well, you know, kind of flip flop and don't know which way they want non-committal here uh, always in a hurry in and out and stuff like that with this queen of um this is the queen of wands okay that's the karmic right there see they was in and out a lot they kept you in this third party situation see they're going back and forth trying to be a player play it however this story goes always keeping you in the middle is a mess and it you know it caused them to have a heavy load on their shoulders here okay spirit what else you want us to know the king of cups so we got a king of cups and we got a queen of of uh, wands here okay so they definitely somebody had a relationship they, and, and had another relationship. Somebody was bouncing back and forth with a relationship here. Somebody was already in a relationship. It, it could have been where this karmic already had somebody in their life and they were just sneaking with this with your person or it, go vice versa. Like everybody was screwing everybody here. Somebody didn't know though because the judgment is here. This uh, angel is protecting the divine feminine here. From this masculine from coming in he's had to suffer for what he's done because he tried to have a relationship here trying to go back and forth in and out of somebody's life causing all kind of they got to suffer for this okay seriously yeah see disappointment they got to suffer disappointment for this okay Missing opportunities, having a miss opportunity with their um their divine fin. Mm -hmm. uh, the ace of cups. Okay, that's some kind of new beginning for the divine feminine. She's gonna find somebody new, somebody who um really really loves her, or the divine fin has already you know throughout this whole situation learned to love herself. And once you learn to love yourself. All those other things are going to come in on their own. You don't even have to look for it. It's going to come in. We're all vibrational people, okay? So we vibrate. When you vibe high, vibe high, you get high vibrational people around you. You vibe low, you get low vibration people behind you. So somebody's getting ready to start a brand new beginning when it comes to love. Somebody may be getting an offer of uh, marriage. Somebody's get life is getting ready to be blessed, and somebody else here is in regret over it, cause somebody's getting ready to have it all here. Somebody's getting a big ass cup of love here, and it's from the universe. Okay, they're being blessed here, and somebody's in regret that they, you know, lost out on this situation, trying to be a freaking, trying to be a player here, trying to run around. Okay, 
why they know they was in a relationship with someone or made somebody think that they were. That's not cool. That ain't cool. You let somebody know, look, I, I, I want to be free or I just want to play around. If you want to be in it, in it, cool. If not, you know, this is what I want to do. You don't fake people out. You don't do that because, see, this person's getting ready to be blessed now. You're going to be sitting back just watching it, Vibe Masculine. You're going to watch them prosper right in front of your face. But you're not going to be able to be a part of it. You could have been. There was opportunities here where you could have been Divine Masculine. You know, you could have rest and chilled out. You know what I'm saying? With the Five of uh, Four Swords. You could have chilled out. Rest. Recoup. Some of you may want to do that now. Yeah, you could have had a happy home here. With the four of, of wands. You could have had a happy home. You could have made it with someone here. That's all they wanted was a happy home. Love, marriage, the whole nine yards. Or you was dealing with, or you had to rest with somebody. Or somebody around you, this could be divine femme, resting. Because she may be in a situation where she's getting a new home, moving somewhere, um, and she's finally got peace here, and a new home, new love, a marriage possibly moving in with someone. She probably has to move. King of Pentacles here. Some of you can deal with a Virgo. Someone who is very stable and reliable that this divine fin may be running into. Somebody who saves money, thinks logically, does things by the book. They cross their T's, dot all their I's. They scope shit out. They're very empathic as well. Stable again. Has something to offer. So the divine um, feminine is getting some new love here. And the divine masculine may be either stuck in this karmic low vibration for the rest of his life or just not with either or. Yeah, here's the king and queen of pentacles. Look, <laughs> can't make this up, okay? There's going to be a new couple here and they're both on the same page as far as what they want out of life. They are on the same page. And they're very much protected again with this judgment card. This relationship here is definitely divine. Uh, given divinely. Look at this ace of cups here. That's love. That's nothing but love between two people here. That are very smart and intelligent. Very logical about their money. Knows what they want. Know how to build. Okay. With this four this is a, a, a soulmate couple here. Divine Femme, you get ready to get your soulmate, okay, that's coming in here. You get ready to have it all, all right? For those who, you know, said, I don't, you didn't want the um, the masculine back. There's a lot of y'all get ready to move in. You're going to have it all. And Divine Masculine is going to be sitting here looking at this with a heartbreak and regret that all of this took place. Sure, for sure for some of you so just hang in there hang tight because it's coming yeah you ain't got to take this person back if you don't want to you don't you see all these cards i had on here i was ready for y'all told you it was going to be a big one okay how's the divine masculine going to feel about the divine feminine moving on They're going to try to still work hard on it. They're going to try to put effort into it. They're going to try to get you back. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. They see, or they're going to be, okay, how does the Divine Masculine feel about the Divine Feminine moving on for those who may move on from the situation? They see, they see you making coins and shit, or they see, they, once in there, they see you making money. They see money coming in 
to you just constantly coming in okay got your money coins together here uh, they also see I'm also seeing that they may try to come in and try to work hard on getting you back okay yeah they may try to get you back with the four wands here they may offer you a home some type of stability here being open and honest telling you they want you to move in and all that but here's the seven of swords here um somebody still somebody could be sneaky or uh, just a little deceptive about something somebody might fall into a trap trying to mess with you that's what i'm saying you're spiritually protected how does this i feel like you're going to sneak I feel like maybe for some of you going to sneak away from this situation and be with somebody else. That's what I'm picking up. But I feel like somebody here wants to come back and, and show you and work as hard as they can to get you back. But I feel like there's somebody else here. Somebody else is in the mix that you kind of like see eye to eye with. And you may just sneak away from this other person. Like, I'll, you know, what you do to me is, I guess it's happening to you. All right? That's what I said. This is going to flip-flop or something. And you're going to get all the attention with the Six of Wands here. This person is going to give you a lot of attention, okay? A lot of attention is coming up here. You're going to be the winner. You're victorious out of all of this. And the nine of pentacles is like you're good all by yourself. You don't really need nobody. You never have, Divine Femme. So how's the Divine Masculine feel? He feels like he sees that you're independent, that you're making your money, and that you're getting your props, that a lot of people are watching you, or a lot of people need a lot of people are putting you on a pedestal. Um But I don't feel like a lot of you are taking this person back, even though they may try to put in the work and effort and try to build something with you. I feel like you're just going to sneak away and go towards someone who's giving you the attention that you deserve. You say you can do good. They seeing you, okay, divine masculine looking at you as being the empress, okay, as being wealthy, having it all, you know. Why does it keep falling out of my hands? They looking at you as the empress. The empress is the top dog, okay? She's the one that... She's over the uh, princesses. The princesses and the over the queen. She's the head woman in charge, okay? She gives birth to the universe. She gives birth. Maybe someone may come up pregnant here or find out about a pregnancy. Most of what I'm feeling here, and that's for some of you, congratulations. I feel like it's by somebody who is very stable. Um, but the Empress is about growth and expansion, giving birth. So there, you may be in a position where, like, you're very, you're up there in some kind of high position here, doing the damn thing with your with your finances, saving waiting all this is in divine timing with the seven of uh, seven of pentacles it's a divine it's, it's it's about the divine stepping in in this situation for a lot of you okay so yeah here's your emperor look we got the emperor we got the emperor and the, and the empress a perfect match okay i want y'all to watch that movie perf the perfect match okay because it ain't who you set your eyes on sometimes it ain't gonna be the one who you think gonna be the one okay but in the end and look divine it's all about divinely guided right here it was all worth the wait is what i'm hearing spirit say with that seven of um it was all worth yeah y'all getting somebody new in your life divine femme and the divine masculine is like, oh shit, what the hell did I just do here? I just messed up my whole freaking life. Because it wasn't like I wasn't told. It wasn't like, what was wrong with me? Divine, you gonna mess this dude up, whoever or girl. They're gonna be messed up behind this. 
Hmm. The Ace of Wands. Excited about a new beginning. Possibly a baby. Okay, you may end up getting pregnant by this. Your Emperor here. The perfect match here. Your soulmate. Your yin, your yang here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the father right there. So the father, look. I'm going to show you. Some of y'all getting pregnant by this person. You're going to have a baby by. I'm going to get married to them. Look how the father's looking at the mother. That's a father and mother. Okay, right there. He's looking at, there's my child. She just had my baby. Okay, having my baby. I'm uh, having my baby. So, I don't feel like the Divine Masculine is too pleased about that situation. Okay? At all. There's, I'm telling you. Spirit's making them sit back and watch you prosper for what they've done to you. They've done a lot of stuff. They've done a lot of stuff. They've done a lot of stuff behind your back. They really did. They backstabbed the hell out of you. And you didn't even look at this person as being like that. That's why you being so blessed. What, I don't, you wasn't being dumb or naive. You just loved this person. I'm picking up an energy and you really love this person. But this is not who you're going to end up being with, uh, Divine Finn. And Divine Masculine, you can just get, you know, really kind of hang it up here. Okay, you can hang it up. You had your shot. Here's the King and Queen of Swords. Wow. There's another couple. So, some of you are going to be dealing with air signs, uh, Aries, fire sign. It could be two fire signs that get together here, the Emperor and the Empress. And... I'm hearing this as well. You probably have an opportunity to be with a Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. The King of Swords. That's a Libra. Okay. The King of Swords is a Libra. And the Queen of Swords. I think that's Aquarius. So you could have possibly be contemplating over two relationships here let me go ahead and um <laughs> i gotta i gotta look at this what do i need to use i need to use Excuse me, y'all. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, let me use this deck. Okay, Spirit, what's going on with this Emperor and the Empress? I'm sorry. I think I mean, okay, yeah, there's the Empress. There's the Emperor. And they're looking at this Ace, which is a new beginning. Uh, it could be a baby, yeah, involved. And then there's another couple. So what is this going on here with these two couples? Can you give me some more information? What about the Emperor? Okay, with this Empress, like I said, the Empress is looking back at this situation like... You can see it right here. She's looking back at this situation that somebody wants, you know, to offer her. She's like, nah, I don't think so. But this is like missed opportunity here with the four of cups. So. So somebody's like not taking somebody back here. Seriously. But there's two offers here. But there's an emperor and an empress, which I feel like that's going to be the one. I don't know. Let me see here. The page of cups is on this emperor. So the page of cups is somebody who's, you know, trying, you know, being a little timid with their love. Like they're like or a little shy with their love. You know, like, I, I, I want to approach you, but I don't know how. 
or I, I'm an emperor now. Now, if you're an emperor now, you shouldn't feel this way, but somebody does because they feel bad on the way they treated somebody here. So they're being a little hesitant on like they're on sh on showing their love or offering this cup of love. They're just scared. Wow. Okay. Let me take one. What is this page of cups? Yeah, they're waiting. They're waiting. They're gonna wait. They're waiting. They're they're like kind of like looking like man. Um, I don't. I want to invest, but I'm hesitant because of the way I treated this person. They're hesitant. This could be somebody's father that had. You know, you probably had a kid by him or her or you know however it goes here. Now, what's this Ace of Wands doing in the middle? Hmm. Somebody feels like somebody can't get any sleep. Somebody's, you know, having anxieties regarding this new beginning. Somebody's having anxieties. Can you give me one more card for that? Somebody's like having anxieties like hell. Look like two people mirroring one another or something. Because somebody don't want to take somebody back, but there's some type of anxieties, though. The world card. Wow. See, it's slipping out my hand here. Yeah, the world card. Somebody's having it. The masculine is having anxieties over this. They're not liking this. They can't sleep. They're hurt. They can't go to sleep at night because they know they messed up. They know they lost a good thing with this world card here. They know you're gone. They know you're done. They know you closed the chapter to this new beginning that they offered. Okay, what's going on with this King of Swords? Why is the King of Swords here? Too much competition. Somebody, you know, um, put somebody, made somebody feel that, that it was in competition. There was too much strife with this King of Swords here. There was too much uh, a battle. Again, a battle or competition. Or it could just be inner conflict as well. What's going on? Let's get one more card for this conflict. Yeah, somebody was confused. This King of Swords is all confused. You know, had too many options going on here. Like like their cake and eat it too. Or somebody was just in La La Land. You know, I, I feel more or less like somebody was confused and had a whole lot of options. And they, they're kind of doubtful or, or kind of, you know, that's why this person don't want this person back. That caused too much conflict. Too much competition here. Because the King of Swords could be somebody who's very cold-hearted, okay? And they, like, doggish. So what's going on with this Queen of Swords that got her back turned to this? Look, I want y'all to see how this is looking. This King of Swords, no, he did this Queen of Swords wrong. Look how he got his eye cocked over to her and his sword up. And she's got her back turned to him with her sword up, okay? Or sword, she got one sword up and one, like... She's ready to like chop off some stuff really like right here. This person is trying to make an impression. This is what I'm seeing now. But there's too much conflict with this King of Swords. But this other person, there's another person here who's trying to get in. But they're taking their time. Wow. What is this Queen of Wands? I'm mean, sorry, Queen of Swords. Um, the Queen of Swords is saying she just wants to be happy. Okay? She just want to be happy. She's having her happiness. She's content. She's okay. You know, by herself. She'd rather cut off stuff, you know, so she can be happy with the Nine of Cups. That's what she'd rather do. 
And this guy knows it. That's why he's looking at her like that. Again, let me show y'all that looks. The looks on these cars is what kind of gets me. He's trying to get in. He's trying to get her back. But he's looking at her like from the side of his eye. She's being stubborn. But she's not. She's got She's got her eyes closed too. Like I ain't even looking at you. I don't even care. I got two knives. You got your one. Let's see what you can do with that. I doubt if you can do anything. Because I'm done. I want to be happy. And he knows that he's feeling that energy. He don't even know how to turn himself to look at her in her face. He can't even look at her in her face because it's just too much conflict that he done caused. And, and disappointments. And there's going to be endings here. Definitely. Somebody's closing the cycle to this, this ridiculousness. It's just ridiculousness is what it is. And I've been, I, hey, I, I calmed it down from the beginning. Let's see here. What's going on? Let's see. Domination, okay. Somebody, somebody got a choice here to make. I feel like it's you, Divine Femme. You got a choice to make here. I feel like there's two suitors here. You may not want neither one of them, to be honest with you. Because somebody was definitely being cruel and deceptive behind your back. They really put scarred you. Somebody here really scarred you bad. And I feel like this, this is one that's side-eyed and you. They, they can't even look at you in your face because they did so much dirt behind your back that you didn't even deserve. You love this person. You really love this person, Divine Femme. It made me want to cry. And this person just did you any kind of way. That, you know, it was cruelty. But I feel like they want you back, but they don't know how to. They don't know how to. They did so much stuff. Like, they scared they're going to get rejected. And it looks like that they are. For some of you. I told y'all this is going to be a long one. It's almost two hours. See, the judgment card comes out again. They got to go through judgment for this cruelty. You got an angel that's coming down to, to, to give karma to this person who treated you very, very cruel. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to get their karma. I'm sorry. They are. <laughs> they should have thought about what they was doing before they done it. They knew what they were doing, and Spirit told me, and I heard him. I heard Spirit told them to stop, and they kept doing it anyway. So now they took over. They're like, they're protecting you, and they're allowing you to move on forward. Here's the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, somebody trying to come in really fast, okay? Trying to come in with some fast communication. Uh, somebody trying to, you know, kind of bogart their way in. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Yeah, they trying to run, trying to come in with, like, only seeing tunnel vision right there. All they see is you, okay? Yep, with love. Look at that. Two of cups. Yeah, they want you back. They want to they wanna start this love. They want to do it fast, but, wow. Somebody's being judged. They want to tell you that they want happiness with you. Now, remember, you can take some of these stories may not be, you know, there are different stories lines in here, y'all. So some of it's for you. Some of it may not be for you. But they want to tell you they want pure happiness. They miss you. They do. Somebody misses somebody bad. They want their love back. They want their desire here. They want love and they want happiness. That's up to you what you do. But there's some stagnation here. I feel like Spirit's putting it on hold with the hangman. Hope y'all can see that. Somebody's, you know, putting something on hold here. Like, hold up, wait a minute. Or somebody may have a change of heart with this hangman. Because sometimes... 
the hangman could re represent somebody who's looking at something differently now okay it could be for some of you now the chariot is here so somebody may have a change of mind and move forward with a, with a per with this person that's coming back that did this shit after they suffer karma though they gotta go through their karma or they already did go through their karma and they realizing for some of you is another scenario I'm picking up here and they're ready to charge forward or you're ready to go forward because somebody really is expressing they only see you see right now that's how they see you See how their eyes is like focused on just on you. Look, let me show you. I mean, they got sharp, clear vision of you and this love. See, see him beaming in. See him beaming in. See that beaming in on you because they felt happy with you. I feel like this is for another uh, somebody else, uh, another group here. This is for. I feel like there's going to be a coming back together of somebody. They made, they did something. Yes, they were cruel. Yes, they got judgment for it. They got judged already. This person, whoever this is, already went through karma, and now they're seeing. They're waking up. They have woken up. Their eyes are open. They know what they want now. You know, and it's going to cause somebody to have a change of heart here and, and move forward in this situation. Yeah, moving forward. Yeah, Prince of Cups. Prince of Cups. Yeah, they want love. Somebody wants to, they want it, they want this love. Somebody's gonna move forward in this love situation. Mm-hmm. Princess of Cups. Gonna take that leap of faith. Wow. <laughs> And after this, you guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Because I kept you talking. I like get to get your popcorn and stuff. And, um, yeah, and the Knight of Cups. Um, this Knight of Cups wears his heart on his shoulder. They want to show you love. Whoever this is, uh, for another group, is someone coming back that did somebody wrong. And they coming back and they, they already went through karma because judgment's here for their cruelty. Okay? And for the choices that they made with the two of wands here. So they looking only at you. I only have eyes for you. They see love. They see happiness with you. You may take a and look at it at a different point of view. Because I think you were ready to go. But I think something kind of like sparked something in you saying... Let me look at this. Let me reevaluate this. Even though this person was cruel, okay? Life is what it is. Uh, I feel like you're going to move forward. This person with the chariot. I feel like both of y'all are going to get your act together and move forward. This uh, Prince of Cups and this Princess of Cups. See that? A Prince and a Prince. You may have kids by this person. A, a son and a daughter. If it's not that, <clears throat> it's just you two. It's going to be like a family unit or something like that. And you two kind of fall back in love with each other. Here's the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're going to show you their how they feel. You see that love part? He's got love. It's, his love is... He's showing his love, like his emotions. He's, the, the, the Knight of, of Cups is, a, is charming. They show how they feel. Mm-hmm. There go the prince of this. You might end up pregnant. See, this is going to be a family situation. It's all practical. It's logical. It's giving birth here. Somebody may be giving birth. And it's going to bring on power in this relationship. 
Wow, for some of you, that is awesome. Look, there's the Ace of Cups. Some of you are going to just end up marrying this person if you haven't already. You're going to get married. There's going to be a nice, beautiful beginning. Wow, what a turn for some of you. You're going to live the life of luxury. That means you're going to have it all. Love, luxury, things, people, babies, family, inheritance. Yep, inheritance, wheel of fortune, lucky. Somebody's going to be, this situation is going to turn itself around for the good for some of you out there. This is another story. I'm shocked this came out, really. It's going to be peace in the neighborhood. See that? Peace. Peace in the neighborhood, y'all. And it, it's all because somebody had done a transformation with the death card here. Somebody did a total Yui here, okay? Yeah, somebody done a total Yui. And it was this Knight of Wands who was a player, okay? Sorry. It was this Knight of Wands. Done a complete transformation. No longer being a, I don't want to be a player no more. Because he knew that he was failing. He knew it was a failure to you, being a player. He knew that, whoever this is, he knew it. He knew it was failing. And he had to straighten himself out, see? They had to go deep within. You could have been dealing with a Virgo. Just a hermit card. He had to, he went through transformation. Whoever this is, him or her. Went through a major transformation. And they saw some things in themselves that, you know. They saw some things. They were enlightened and they become, um, they became very, uh, mature, grown up, wise. Came the prince. Here's the prince of this. This person could have a, a son. There's gain. Things are coming together. Gaining a lot. Gaining things. Having things. Having it all. Oh wow. Here's the ace of this. That big this. That big coin. That new beginning there. And this is financial. This is um the financial wealth. This is um this is about um money being passed down through generations, generational wealth. That's what that means as well. And it's everything. This is what some of you are going to gain here with this person that learned their lesson. And they learned a hard lesson. You best believe that. They learned a hard lesson. It took a lot of courage for whoever this person is to come back to you. But they definitely had to prove themselves. You definitely made them prove themselves before you decided to see it differently because they were working hard at it they were working hard at it i see that so i'm going to end that right now that was a lot that had to come up a lot came out that i was feeling in my dream state my brother was telling me my ancestors so some of you, again, you can always look back at the video and see some of you are going to leave this situation behind and start a whole new relationship. This right here took me for a wound. This is for, that's why I said, oh, this is for someone. These are for another group of people. This one, this last one was for another group of people. But for some of you, a lot of exposures coming out. Watch that online dating stuff, okay? And this is your girl, Simply Love. You're welcome to um, call me if you'd like to have a personal. I'm done with the $25 hour readings right now because um, uh, I, I, I had to, I, I went through a lot. And again, I want to thank each and every one of you for your patience, your time, um, for calling in for those readings and getting yourself where you need to be, having the courage to uh, face reality, okay? Um, and again, I think we're going to be up here Friday if I can get in touch with my girls because I get back in touch with them. They gave me my time and my space to heal. 
um, and um, I'm getting back in touch with them and we can um, jump on board some maybe Friday or something like that it depends on their schedule and I'll find that out and I'll let y'all know in the video again thank you so much for your condolences I thank you for all your cards that you sent me I really appreciate that um, and and I appreciate you um, waiting for me here to get it back together, okay? I really do. I love each and every one of you. And I hope this reading was of some help to some of you, okay? I'd uh, love to hear your comments below. Again, if you need a reading, look below. All the information is there. You can also per purchase my cards. Uh, they're, they're on my playlist. Uh, you can either text me. You can call me. However you want to do it, go to the website. But a couple of them are on the, the, the karmic confessions aren't on there yet or the sexy motherfucker gods and goddesses aren't on there yet so you can just text me if you want those okay and all the rest of them is on the website you guys take care love you so much and um have a good one bye <laughs>